There is a new space race to the moon. The media calls it the Asian space race. And it's heating up, because back in June, Japan announced that its plans on sending astronauts to the moon by the year 2030. So they joined India, Russia, and China in the race. And in this video, we're going to be talking about China. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you, so you don't have to. Last year, China announced that it plans to send astronauts to the moon by the year 2036. China is considered a part of the big three in space exploration, the others being the United States and Russia. Matter of fact, China surpassed Russia in the amount of rocket launches last year and they matched the United States totals. In 2014, they started developing the Long March 9 rocket, or LM9 for short. That's going to be the rocket that they use for the lunar mission. Um, the LM9 is a super heavy lift launch vehicle. That's the same class of rocket as the Saturn V, which was used for the Apollo missions. The LM9 will be in development for many years, but its engine is projected for testing sometime in 2018. On March of 2017, China reported that they are developing a new spacecraft that will be used for both low Earth orbit and the manned lunar mission. Um, it's supposed to be, it, they plan on making it reusable and be able to carry multiple astronauts. In addition to China's manned moon mission, they plan on building a lunar base. So they joined Russia and the European Union along with um, many private companies uh, in the United States who are all working on establishing moon bases. on. In April of 2017, it is reported that China is talking with the European Space Agency, or ESA, about working together on establishing a moon base. The, the ESA has already been working with Russia to establish a moon base, so I guess the ESA is really aggressive and looking for partners to make this happen. So back to China with, uh, with having a healthy budget, and they have room to grow in their budget as well depending on how motivated they are. I put China as one of the front runners in this race. China's budget for their space program is not known publicly, but, es but experts estimate that it, that it spends around $6.1 billion per year. So who do I think will be the second country to land an astronaut on the moon? As of right now, with their experience and plans to work with the ESA to land on the moon, I think Russia will be the first to reach the moon. Russia has a seasoned space program and they have experience attempting to build a super heavy lift launch vehicle and that gives them a head start over the other countries. I think China has the second best chance with their healthy space budget and they're rapidly advancing their space exploration every year. Um, Japan comes in third by default since they currently have an active manned lunar mission. And to close it out, India has the least shot of landing on the moon before the others. So for India, although India it, um, has made some great accomplishments in space exploration, such as being the fourth country to send their flag to the moon, they have po recently postponed their manned space program until 2024, which puts them far behind the race. So I want to know what you guys think. Who do you guys think will be the second country to land astronauts on the moon? Comment below. If you're interested in seeing the first three parts of the Asian Space Race series, which covers the other countries in more detail, there are links in the description. There is a lot of excitement in space exploration involving the moon. There are quadrillions of dollars worth of resources on the moon between its helium-3 and water that's up there. And that's the reason why the space race is heating up. So if you're interested in learning more about the resources on the moon and moon mining, there's a link to that video in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps our channel grow. And if you're interested in learning what life will be like in the future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am the Oracle and this is the end of our journey.